Welcome back. Today, we will discuss the Hardeep Nijar's murder controversy timelines. Hardeep Nijar was murdered in June 2023. He was actively recruiting and training K-terrorists in Canada. According to sources cited, ISI had hired criminals to pressure Nijar into supporting terrorists and Khalistani gangs in Canada. In three months, there is no interview, no suspect, no inquiry, no arrests. Do you think Canadian intelligence police is this useless? So-called one of the five eyes. Or are they specifically instructed or pressured to not investigate? He was disappointed that Ukraine Zelensky was not invited for G20. His conversation interview with Zelensky is public. Then, Trudeau visits India in sept for G20 summit. He was high on cocaine in his hotel room. This is the presidential dinner, does not accept PM Modi's offer of taking his personal plane Air Force One back to Canada. What was his motive to visit G20 after all? Why did he even go there to meet with any of the 20 leaders if he did not attend the dinner with them? He could have had a personal session with Zelensky. After all, that's what the $10 billion dollars were for. He did not have to attend. He spent extra two days in his room, probably high. He was in any rush to get home. Canadians were not excited or in too much hurry to receive him back either. Two days after, he announces in Parliament that India is behind the Nijar murder. Trudeau just lacks every kind of ethics, standards, and even common courtesy. Canadian may have gotten used to this type of behavior from their government, diplomat, or head of state. But international standards demands a rule-based working standard. Maybe Trudeau should be indicted, and maybe he would belong better at the security desk in the front of the building, keeping track of visitors. Oh, wait. Even that, he would not be able to perform. He will be always high on cocaine, dressed like a misgendered person, and Nazi soldiers will be entering the Parliament building to receive standing ovations. Sorry, I digressed. I am so passionately disgusted about how he single-handedly diminished once great country Canada to a tiny country on the world stage. Of course, his snowflake liberals supported him throughout this disaster. Anyhow, India asked him to share the evidence so they can look into it, but he will not give them anything because it does not exist. Trudeau's allegations have led to a diplomatic spat between India and Canada. New Delhi rejecting Trudeau's claims as absurd and motivated. Jayashankar made the remarks during a conversation at the Council on Foreign Relations in New York after his address at the UN General Assembly on Tuesday. Surprising enough, now Nijar's son, Balraj, revealed that his father was in constant touch with ISI as well as Canadian intelligence. He met with Canadian intelligence two days before his murder and another meeting scheduled in two weeks. Of course now, only this week after three and a half months, Canadian police started investigating, detained and interviewed two ISI plants, Rahat Rayo and Tariq Kiani, who are under wanted list. Hardeep Nijar and Rahat Rayo organized the rally for Trudeau in the past. So, you can imagine the connection there. Sources reveal that these people together were handling and training K-terrorists, and apparently in the drug business together. It is claimed that Hardeep Nijar's murder was a result of disagreement between them over their drug business. This is no international controversy. This is what happens when you harbor terrorists in your country. They turn on each other sooner than later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more thought-provoking content.